We got a treat for you today, guys. We got a real treat. Chinese propaganda never fails to impress us with its absolute lunacy. This one is so good. Sometimes,、mm-hmm. and I'd like to preface this to our old fans by、yeah. saying, sometimes we're worried that China is going to stop making bad, terrible, laughable propaganda because they are getting better. At They're getting、it. better, but on their old, like when I say old, their big main kind of like. Bread and butter platforms like China Daily and Xinhua, like the ones that have always been around since Mao's time. Yeah, those ones never fail to、oh, stop、absolutely. bringing us the most amazing stuff. Yeah, and this is up there with some of the most ridiculous things we've ever seen. It's amazing.、Yeah. So、uh, let's let's just、uh, preface this. By the way, I want to give a shout out to YGZ Taiwan,、mm-hmm. who、uh, brought this this video clip to our attention because you got to dig deep to find these sometimes. Yes. So big shout out to him. Here at China Fact Chasers, we're proud to use and tell you about Surfshark VPN. Think of a VPN as an extra layer of security over your internet connection. When you connect to the internet, theoretically everything you do is out there in the open for all to see. But with Surfshark VPN, when you're connected, all of that internet traffic is protected. You can use a VPN for other things too. For example, you can get discounts online by changing servers to other countries, and you can also see different shows and movies on Netflix and other streaming services. It's super easy to use, and it gives you the peace of mind that you're protected when you're online. Use the VPN we use and get Surfshark. For a limited time, get an exclusive Surfshark Black Friday deal. Go to surfshark.deals/factchasers to get up to six additional months for free. That's Surfshark Deals slash Fact Chasers, and use the code Fact Chasers to protect your online privacy today. Hello, and welcome to an episode of Pot Side Chats, where we talk all things China. Hello, and welcome to an episode of Pot Side Chats, and today. I see what you did there. <laughs> yeah. Pot side chat. What could that even mean? Like, is with toilet jokes aside. Yeah. What could that even mean? Yeah.、Uh, for those of you who don't know, just I put in the, the little pot、yes. side. I couldn't for those help listeners myself. At yeah. Home. yeah. So obviously, you know, one of the big things about foreigners when they go to China is、yeah. hot pot. Oh, you think it's that? So I think it's the idea that you're all sitting around having hot pot and, or maybe a pot of tea or something, and so you're next to the pot and you're chatting, right? That's so lame. That's that's、It、what I'm guessing. It sounds like a toilet. I and I,、yeah. I would hazard a guess that if you were to say, "Let's have a pot side chat," people <laughs> would not think about having hot pot. That's not where your mind goes. No. No, so I mean, you guys, you opened yourself up to that one. I'm、yeah. sorry if you're going to call your series pot side chats.、Mm-hmm. From now on, it means next to the toilet.、Chats. I can promise you, those English-speaking hosts did not come up with that name. No, they didn't. <laughs> It's definitely the state media、yeah. staff. Anyway, let me just get、the、pot side like four twenty devil's lettuce. Yeah,、chats. that kind of maybe that kind of pot. <laughs> Weed、um, side. Now the the thing we got to put out here is you have to see the false enthusiasm they have. Yeah,、here. I love it. So bubbly. So, yeah, let's let's take a look at what this is all about. To an episode of Pot Side Chats, and today I am ultra excited because we are playing a board game, which is, is literally one of my favorite things to do. Yes, and joining us is CC Lu, financial expert. I'm still, CC, still in there. CC, thanks for coming on the show. This must be the most unique video that you've been a part of so far. Please tell me yes. Yes, of course. Great. Thank you for having me, guys. Really excited to play this board game to demonstrate some financial concepts. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Okay, can I say what、mm-hmm. this is、yeah. real quick? You guys know what the Belt and Road Initiative is? It's this idea, basically, very abbreviated version, that China goes to developing countries, invests in their infrastructure, and then that country owes them something. It's、yes. literally modern day imperialism、mm-hmm. and colonialism. And then they can take over the when they default on the debts,、yeah. they can take over the ports,、yes. the airports, things like that. Then that's why it's called to China. That's why it's called debt trap diplomacy. Yeah, and yeah. a lot of countries have been pulling out. In fact, I covered that in my economy video. Tons of countries are backing out. Right. There's yet to really be. A, has there been any success stories out of the BRI? Almost none. Right.、Mm-hmm. You'll have the odd project here or there that wasn't there before. Yeah, like it, a bridge or something. But that's not. They don't talk about the financial impact afterwards and the potential defaults. And、right? the impact on the environment and the fact that the locals didn't actually get jobs because they imported all the the, the workers from China and stuff. Yeah. yeah. You don't really get to help a local economy when the infrastructure project that you promised jobs to local people doesn't exist because you brought in your own workers. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah, we could go on forever about the BRI, but just so、yeah. you understand, 
Now imagine that all this negative press, including the video I put out, that kind of stuff, is coming out about the BRI. Mm. All these people and journalists and stuff, investigative journalists, are talking about, wait, this is not what it, they originally promised. In fact, it's gotten so bad that, you know, this is Xi Jinping's idea, right? Yeah. It's gotten so bad that he's had to say, oh, this is getting kind of complex. Mm. They, they never do anything negative. That, that no. me, that's tantamount to disaster. Yeah, if you say it's complex. Mm. So they make this knee-jerk propaganda. Yeah. And in this particular clip, they invented a Belt and Road Initiative board game. Mm -hmm. And it's not even something you can buy. They made it for this clip, it which got have, 200 yeah. views. <laughs> that's the best part is their, their video that's been out for weeks now. It got like 200 views. Look at this. Yeah. Anyway, let's let's take a look because this is, they, they're being serious here. They really want you to think this is fantastic. Yes. So let's watch. Excellent. So to celebrate 10 years of the Belt and Road Initiative, we are playing Bridging Borders and Beyond. And of course, Belt and Road Initiative is modeled after the ancient Eurasian Silk Road, which culture, goods, ideas for centuries. Yes, but in the modern era, we have Silk Road Economic Belt, which covers mm. routes uh, through road and rail. And we also have the 21st century this maritime guy. Silk Road, which is routes by sea. Great. The objective of this board game mm -hmm. is trying to build together, to build as many as public goods as possible. As our guest, why don't you go first? Yay. Yeah. Oh. This is Yay. highly regarded as it's, a great board game. It's a great board game. Well, let's see. What do you think happens in this board game? I can already tell you mm -hmm. that nothing of substance can happen in this board game because in watching this clip, which I did once, mm -hmm. They literally are just making shit up as they go along. <laughs> I feel like that's what's going to happen. Let's see what happens. This, by the way, official Chinese state media put this out. Top yes. China top, Daily. Top. China Daily top, put top, this top. out. Okay. So this has got a big budget. You know, these are their foreign hosts that do lots of other shows for them. We can only estimate, let's say this costs them $10,000 to put together without corruption involved. Sure. So probably a lot more. Anyway, it's just this, this is the height of Chinese propaganda right yes. now. Let's take a quick look. All right. Um, I think I'm the boat. Yep. May okay. I have the boat? Yep. And then can you please give me two steps? Two, okay. So one, two, that's a funding card. Oh, Ooh. wow. A funding card here. <laughs> Collect hungry to invest uh, resource. Amazing. What resource would you like to invest in with your hundred? It's not a lot of money, but I this would like terrible. to stretch my dollar. Okay. I'm going to pick a bridge okay Ooh. uh gonna pick a real way okay. okay guys you have to understand something yeah this is all of china's propaganda talking points about how they succeed in helping poor countries around the world mm. and again these are not debt-free loans these are like super high interest loans yes. that they these countries can't pay back and they always use bridges and planting railways. trees and railways and they have them as actual cards i i mean if i was a stickler for the rules i'd say like how like surely there's a price for each of these but she's like i got a hundred so i'm just going to take this and this because it's made up yeah it's just made up right it's just it's just nonsense okay let's, <laughs> let's see what happens next i mean i'm riveted now you gotta give it back to the bank <laughs> mm. so as you can see these mega projects are extremely expensive so yeah, hundred dollars. <laughs> what? <laughs> this is literally counter propaganda to the critics that are exposing all of the failures of the BRI. I'm not yeah. even joking. That's the only reason they made this. Yeah, yeah. So let's see. In the, in developing, the developing part of the world, part of the see. world, you know, the government itself may not necessarily can afford it. Mm -hmm. And unlike in the developed countries where you have a commercial banks or other investment, so basically they're just too risky for the investors or lenders to be part of it. So the real question is, who is providing the finance? And we'll find out we will. more as we play on. <laughs> Man, I kind of feel bad for the hosts. Yeah. Because, like, imagine you get no brief ahead of time, and they're like, we're going to have you play a board game today, and you have to sit there and feign enthusiasm for this absolute nonsense cover-up. Well, remember, whoever this this young lady's name is, uh, she in the beginning said, she's so excited. This yeah, is yeah, no, one I of just, her favorite things to she's, do. She knows her job. Yeah. Right? She's, yeah. She's, getting the, she's getting pumped up. Yeah. By the way, this whole idea of China lending money to developed developing countries, right? Mm-hmm. China is a developing country, according, at least on paper. According to them. Yes, on paper. So they can get all those trade deals and tax breaks and stuff. In fact, Xi Jinping mm. said in his APEC speech, China is the world's largest developing country. 
can't have your cake and eat it too. Probably stop doing space missions. Yeah, that's the thing. Developing country with a space program. Oh, if you're a developing like, country, then why are you giving trillions of dollars in loans? loans out? Yeah, it's kind of lame. Anyway, let's see, because we got to find out, you know. Yeah. It's my turn. It's you. Okay, so let's roll. One, two, three. Ooh, railway. The rail is 20. <laughs> yes, I'll buy two. Oh, so there was a price. There was. Yeah. So he's going to buy two railways. All right. Mm -hmm. There you go. There you go. Can One. I ask you a question? Do yeah. you think that they, as, I don't mean to pause so much, do you think that they should actually be rattling off some of China's success story facts every time that they put an infrastructure project down? I think so. Okay. Yeah. Hopefully they do. A two. This actually reminds me of the Carter <laughs> fandom. <laughs> so, wait, buying. <laughs> Two cards of railway actually reminds him no, of... No, this jogs my memory real yeah, quick. Yeah. Do you remember when China went to the Jakarta Boondarg <laughs> <laughs> Railway? <laughs> which was, went into operation recently, mm -hmm. uh, and that is 142 kilometers of rail that connects the two cities, and the previous distance to travel... So wait, these two cards reminded him of 142 kilometers of rail. Okay. Do you know this reminds me of, you know that meme of that boy that's like, and he's got the veins sticking yes, out. Yes, yes. And it's like, this should be like, China, it should say like, China trying not to make propaganda in video <laughs> for one minute. Yeah, exactly. That's, that's three hours. Oh, man. And now, thanks to the high-speed rail, it's down to 40 minutes. Isn't that This guy impressive? doesn't nice. give wow. I love a high-speed rail. Shit. Mm. No, nope. six. We were trying to figure out his watch, because we like watches. Oh, yeah. Can anyone, any watch spotters in here, try to figure out his watch. Let yeah, us yeah. know in the chat. <clears throat> now, she's got the little scooter. I wonder what she's going to do. Let's see my little scooter uh -huh. six bridges uh -huh. i would love to invest in a bridge i think i'll do one for now okay, you want a bridge yes please there you go how do you when win I... this game well we'll find out <laughs> it's when you collect all the dead and steal the ports and stuff from all the other <laughs> and then you players. get little army men to go and take over the whole probably map. probably yeah, yeah. Oh, and suddenly, when I think of BRI bridges, just randomly, it's strange, strange that she didn't do rail as well. Yeah. Because I guess they have to cover all the bases, right? Ding, 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 ding. Yeah. So okay, when I think of BRI, what do you, what do you have to say? I think of BRI bridges. I think of the Perljasak bridge in Croatia, oh. which connects the mainland to the peninsula, mm -hmm. and we're cutting travel time. Talk about it from two to three hours to two to three minutes. Wow. So obviously it's gonna inject a lot of uh, economic development into the area, but it was also the first and largest project funded by the EU uh, into a Chinese company. So, so, so it's not even BRI. No. They claim that bridge. Remember that that we, we them. Yeah, remember that horrible like earthquake and uh, that happened like yeah like a few hundred kilometers away yeah. and china was like the china china built bridge su survived see how strong it is but it was very far away in all the propaganda and all the shills and stuff what they were doing with this bridge is saying that it was the chinese government that yeah. actually had sponsored this almost as like the way right. that it was yeah. it was not just framed as that it was also framed as like a donation in, yeah. in a way you know and by the way that had you nothing to do with the bri no like European Union taxpayers paid yes. for this bridge and they basically put out a tender to say, yeah. we, which company yeah. can build this bridge? And the Chinese company undercut everyone so so vastly yeah. that they won the contract to build it. Yes. So they were paid by EU taxpayers' money and they built this bridge, but it's got nothing to do with the BRI. It's got nothing to do with the Chinese government. It's nonsense. But they try to see how they try to conflate that. Because mm -hmm. remember, she said, think you have BRI bridges. And then she talks about something that's completely not. Mm -hmm. Nonsense. Nonsense. Let's see what happens next. My turn again. Yeah. OK, one, two, three, four, five, six. Trivia card. Hey. Ooh, a trivia card. Ding. Do you think there's actually anything printed on that? I feel like it's blank. It's I feel blank. like they're all blank. <laughs> Come on. Yeah, they're just reading a teleprompter. Yeah, it's got to be blank. Let's see. Da, da, da. Okay, what is the question? Oh, oh, we could have probably seen that. Address the BR at that trap or pay 200. Do you want to pay 200? So, oh, you better address that. that so, that remember falsehood. When I, you remember when I said this is counter propaganda? Mm. And it, this is a thinly veiled attempt to say, no, uh, BRI is good. It's not bad. And it's not a debt trap. And they, it took them only about three minutes to get yeah. it. To get well, to I that. like the fact that you have to debunk basically yes. this debt trap allegation or you get fined <laughs> 200. Um, I think that is not just an allegation, that is a truth. And I will not withdraw that. <laughs> oh, you mean which one? Because all I hear from her. 
Yeah, is a good old. Here it comes. Good old. Oh, not Hong, 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 Hong. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Anyway, let's get back into it. So um, we are dealing with this ridiculous situation. How is she going to address this debt trap? Let's see. Okay. Two hundred. I mean, these allegations. Yeah. These allegations. Yeah. Can you answer the question? I don't want to pay money. Let me try to answer this question. Debt trap is referred to a creditor extend credit to exchange for political influence. China actually holds 11.6% of the total U.S. foreign debt. In Africa, China holds 10% of uh, Kenya's debt and only 3 to 4% from Nigeria. So clearly, China doesn't just lending money to poor region of the world. The you next question said nothing. What the hell was that? That didn't answer anything. Yeah. To hell with you. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but uh, let's. We're gonna Sorry, address. I withdraw that. Yeah, I withdraw. Yeah, yeah, I withdraw yeah, yeah. that. Okay. I withdraw that. Are you sure? Because uh, I'm. Kind I, of... I withdraw. Hong, Hong, Hong. 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 To hell with you. I withdraw that. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. I withdraw. I honor my. Oh, really? Okay. Anyway, seriously though. That did not debunk the... People the, are like, wait, what? Yeah. <laughs> they, they don't know what I mean. She didn't say anything. It's like the debt trap allegations. What do you have to say? Well, America got some debt from China and so did Kenya and mm -hmm. Nigeria. Mm -hmm. Some percentage here and there. Mm -hmm. What the hell does that have to do with debt traps? You know? I saw on the news that you were guilty of uh, Grand Theft Auto last week. Well, clearly not, because last week I also drank coffee. Yeah, pretty much. It's nothing to do with it. So she didn't like. She didn't say anything. She also didn't talk about any of the alleged countries that are in it. Yes, that are in like Sri Lanka. Yeah, I, I think that's quite a, a interesting dodge that she's trying to say. Like, well, we don't only debt trap like poor countries. We also debt trap big countries like America yeah. and Kenya <laughs> kind and of Nairobi. That's kind of yeah. It's kind of what she said, right? Well, you know. America owes us yeah. money and this and that. So it's not, it's just, not a, just that. Yeah, it's like we dead trap everyone. <laughs> like, come on, that was lame. Oh, Let's see what's and incredible. what a incredible. Would you ever sit down and play this board game? <laughs> it doesn't exist. No, but if it did. No. Because it obviously does. And they were mad excited to sit down and play this. <laughs> Look. Well, the one copy exists. Yeah, yeah. Let's, let's a lot this of up. people, crit critics, say the investment China make trying to trap the country because they are not able to pay back, the projects may not be successful, yeah. but often they ignore the economic externality. Okay, you can build the roads and the tolls you collect may not justify for the investment, right? It's not profitable initially. It connects people together, it connects the region, it mm -hmm. creates development and ultimately increase tax revenue for the government so they can be self-sustainable economically. And then a matter of fact, there's an organization called uh, Asia Infrastructure Investment Bank. So uh, not oh, I see. I have a lot to say about that. Very point. much yeah. needed funding for these Keep an eye on this AIIB. Definitely keep an eye on it. It's a bunch of nonsense. To join the investment. Mm. So that, you know, the impact can be greater. So I like what know, she said there, by the way. And, mm -hmm. you know, just benefit. My favorite thing is that she said, some people say that this is trapping countries because, because basically these projects are not successful mm. and not profitable initially, right? If mm. they're not successful, then that means they failed. I mean, there's entire projects that haven't even been completed and then they leave, yeah. right? And then she goes to, goes on to say, well, but that's fine because later on it'll be it'll be better. Later on, sure. these things will do, will bring tax revenue and stuff. What are you talking about? These projects failed. A failure is a failure. It's it not is. like a. It's not like oh, it's we succeeded and maybe later it'll be okay. No, they stopped. If you look into the BRI, um, you're very hard pressed to find any successes. Yeah. A lot of com like countries defaults on the debts and then they have to give up their land or whatever to China or they're just fiercely in debt. A lot of the projects have got very poor quality and are breaking and cracking apart before they're even completed. Yeah. For, for you know? everyone. Yeah. Okay, you answered the question. That, that was a good answer. I'm, like I'm glad that, that went to the financial expert. Yeah, indeed. But it's my turn. <laughs> Go my for turn. it. Go okay. for it. All right. Two. Woo. One, two. How much is a road? Uh, ten. I'll buy a road. Okay. okay. Ooh, I'll take a road. Nothing specific comes to mind. <laughs> oh. Nothing specific. Do you think 
Yeah, hmm. you think it seems really? seems like he must come up with something, though. Yeah, it's like nothing specific comes to mind, and he's probably got someone behind the camera glaring, like, tell you them say, something about BRI. You better say it. Yeah, it's say like, the let's, road. Yeah, let's see. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but roads are really the lifeline of any country, the internal mechanism in which people connect and, and, and things happen. Uh, so, for example, through the BRI, <laughs> China has built 6,000 kilometers so, of road in Africa. So I guess he did. Very something specific. did come to mind. Very specific. <laughs> An amount of kilometers of road built in Africa. Wow. It's, it's impressive. Benefit. It's, it's impressive. Great benefit. Absolutely. Yeah. Okay. Your turn. Woo, okay. <laughs> Let's go, little scooters. <laughs> ports, our I'm first port. Like, yeah. Do you want to invest in ports? I do. Military I think ports. I'm going to take. Two I'm gonna take two ports. ports. That's yes. the first honest thing they've said yes, the whole time. Exactly. <laughs> oh yeah. Ports, BRI ports. I'm thinking water port in Pakistan. Bad example. It wow, is what a failure part of the China-Pakistan Economic Corridor, mm -hmm. which is one of the largest projects under the Belt mm. Road Initiative. And they are likening it to the next Shenzhen. So <laughs> no, it's Shenzhen, not. A few decades back was this semi-abandoned, sleepy port city. And so what they're hoping with water, with all of this investment, mm -hmm. is to transform it into the technological, innovative hub with a lot of younger entrepreneurs. It can't You happen. have to be a psychopath to write a script that mm -hmm. uses Guadar Port as a, as a positive example. All you have to do after the show, if you're interested in the BRI, Google Guadar Port and see what kind of troubles that they face. It is such yeah. a failure. Mm -hmm. This Also, this idea of changing a place like that into Shenzhen is nonsense. The only reason why Shenzhen mm -hmm. and, to be honest, China China became successful financially is because of its proximity to Hong Kong. Yeah. Hong Kong being this massive international, international financial, yeah, international hub. financial Pakistan hub. Pakistan is not. Yeah, with it's just not. immediate inroads to the rest of the world. So when people wanted to invest in mainland China, it was very easy because they already could, through the conduit of Hong Kong, set up companies and invest directly in the mainland. And of course, China could do it vice versa. They could list things on the stock exchange in Hong Kong. So the whole reason that Shenzhen grew up into this massive, amazing city, because it was next to one of the richest countries in the world, Hong Kong. China has done this so many times with failed ports. I think mm. one comes to mind, actually. Oh, yeah, this one. Port of Dandong. Yeah, uh, boy, that is a good example of how many times they tried to push that for about ten years. Yeah, the port of Dandong. It was, they ran that commercial every ten seconds. If you're in China, you will know that that advert. Yeah, yes. um, let's see where this goes. I'm curious. So it's uh, really coming a long way. Cece, so you're my turn. Okay, hey. Wow, it's a tree. So you much want some trees. Oh yes, I actually want to buy some. Do you want? Oh, uh, I would like <laughs> yeah. to buy three. Three trees. Three trees. Okay. Ooh. And, Ooh. Trees and five. And what does that activate? Ooh, it activates our climate meter. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what does it have to do with what? anything? They just added a little functionality yeah. of this bullshit board game. So anyone buys trees, and then yeah. suddenly the climate meter, which only has what, like five, five squares. Five yeah. squares. What does that prove? We're about to find out because the culmination of all this is at the end. We'll see who wins. Who do you think is going to win? We'll see. But Hold uh, on. I'm going to poll everyone. Okay. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Let's uh, do a poll. Let's Who's going to win? The, the fact that they had to cover every propaganda talking point in yes. this board game is ridiculous. And so now they're moving on to green initiatives, right? They've done railways. They've done... American woman, Chinese woman, and British man. <laughs> yes. Because I forgot their names. <laughs> that's, that's, it works. That's about correct. Yeah. yeah. Who's going to win? Who's going to win, guys? Mm. Place your bets. Roll those dice. Exactly. Let's see who's going to win. The poll yeah. is up. Mm -hmm. Who will win? So anyway, um, let's see what they say about the green initiatives. We have Chinese women coming out of the gate here. <laughs> really fast. <laughs> overtaking. That's right. The yeah. climate change is so critical. So in fact... What is... Uh, the sky don't lie. What is that? Hashtag the sky don't lie. Yeah, hashtag the sky um, don't lie. Organization like the Asia Infrastructure Investment Bank oh, actually That's set very uh, ambitious yep. goals. They're trying to achieve 50% of their financing uh, going towards climate change related project by wow. 25. That's 50%. 50%. <laughs> 50%. That's yes, okay. yes. Oh. He's, like, he's like, oh, that's very impressive. You know, she's talking about an investment bank's goals. Yes. It's not interesting I or can't impressive. Even pay attention to it's that. It's like a freaking. This, is... this investment bank's goals have nothing to do with reality. This sucks. Yeah. Okay, so the poll has been up for uh, just a short time, and we've already got an overwhelming, overwhelming win mm. with Chinese women coming in first place. Mm. Uh, closely, not closely at all. 
<laughs> followed by American woman with a clear loss to British man. Yeah, poor British so man. So we'll find out. I'm going to end the poll here. You guys, hopefully you voted. We're going to find out who wins this amazing board This game. guy's just going wait to collect his paycheck to hit the pub after this, yeah. I'm telling you. Or buy a new Casio or whatever. <laughs> yeah, let's see. Okay. Chinese watch. Yeah. Let's see. So what I've got, uh, one, two, three. Ooh, trivia. Ooh. 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 All right, are you going to answer it as well as CC did? Name one eco-friendly BRI project to win 100. <laughs> Can I do <laughs> it? Imagine um, your friends come over, right? <laughs> yeah. And you go, guys, guys, guys. I know we. I know you came over to watch the Eagles game, right? And I know you guys are excited. Game night. But I'm gonna. I'm just. I just want to try something new. And you bust out the BRI board game. It's like you misunderstood me when I said game night. Yeah. Like board game night. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like sitting there in the worst board game ever. <laughs> Whip it out. Like name a B- eco-friendly BRI. What? Look at him. He's like, hmm. <laughs> look at his face. He's like, hmm. What did they tell me to say again? That's a meme of notes. <laughs> look at that. It's the fakest. <laughs> like I'm thinking about something I already know. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Exactly. All right, let's see what he has to say. Uh, okay, what about the Hualong number one, which is the, the culmination of China's mastery of <laughs> third generation nuclear yeah. power? The Hualong number one, uh, there's a nuclear power station in Pakistan, and that generates 10 billion kilowatts power. I, I know, I just, the first thing that. Ca- <laughs> what? <laughs> Just, <laughs> I got to say, the first thing that comes to my mind when I'm thinking of environmentally f- friendly projects is nuclear reactors. I'm hey, just gonna nuclear say. I know nuclear is great. Be, yeah. I, I think it's great, but it's not what would first come no, to No, this is not where it doesn't pop into mind. No. Electricity, no. And that provides electricity to one totally not million people yes. every year. Okay, my turn. Okay. I like oh how it's like, gosh. oh, it gives all the stats. They have to tick all the boxes. Yeah, you know, they? like if the question is name one project, you could say, "Oh, the Hualong one," and then move on. Yeah. But no, it's the Hualong, and it provides it's, it's this amount of electricity of... to <laughs> X amount of billion kilowatts per hour. Bullshit, you know. <laughs> anyway, what's next? This is so yeah, bad. Yeah. Green investment. Ooh, how many do you want? Uh, let's see here. Climate meter. <laughs> two more spaces. <laughs> I will. I will do two trees. Two trees. Two trees, please. I think within the course of the show, our, us and our audience could yes. come up with a much more exciting board game. I think they could have co- it. Not only could we come up with it, we could have it printed and ready to go by the end. We could print it out and actually play a better board game. I, I absolutely agree. To make it even more simple, though, I think our audience could come up with a more robust t- like a rule set for yes. this game. For this actual game. Oh, my yeah, god! Exactly. And we fixed the environment. Look it was that. just that easy. <laughs> for Who would have thought? Initiatives, I think I'm going to take us across the globe mm-hmm. to Chile, where they are looking to reach their own... Uh, carbon neutrality goals by electrifying their public transit. So the buses and EVs are manufactured in China. And of course, there are going to be environmental... Is Chile part of the Bright Belt and Road yeah. Initiative? Yeah, in some ways. What a pity. Yeah. ...concerns with any large-scale infrastructure project. And those 100% need to be addressed and taking some of the best practices and uh, transferring those into new projects is a good place to start. Mm, indeed. Yeah. So we count the public goods. We count right? up the yes. public goods. Okay, so I've built, uh, I've invested in two high speed rail. So hang on a second. They didn't reach the end of the board or anything. It's just like, okay, this guy, look at him. He's you know like, what the end of the I, game I was? need a pint. <laughs> yes. He's like, I've had he's enough. Pint, I'm like, this is enough he's of this pint, shit. Man. You can tell. He's yes. just, I have had enough of this bullshit BRI board game. I want out of here. <laughs> you so know, he's like, going to go to the Now we pub. count the public. What? <laughs> and then he's going to go to the bartender and be like, you have no <laughs> fucking idea what I had to it's do like, today. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Oh my, what a wanker. <laughs> he's like, <laughs> yeah, bloody <laughs> tr- trees and it's roads nice. and bridges and, you know, ports <laughs> and, you know, the bollocks, you know, <sighs> this guy. Anyway, let's. Uh, <laughs> so, anyway, he's like, I'm done. He's like, now we count the public goods, do we? And uh, some road infrastructure. Okay, I got trees, ports, and a bridge. Oh, Cece? I got list. trees and a two infrastructure. Oh, we love that. Wow. Well, who won? We all win because <laughs> the public road mission is about a shared future for mankind. Cece, any Oh puppies? my gosh, please play that clip again. <laughs> okay, all right. Oh, well, that is, oh, yes. Okay, yeah. Wow. Ooh, we love that. Wow. Well, who won? We all win because the Belt and Road Initiative is about a shared future for mankind. CC, any final thoughts? Oh, my.
<laughs> we all win. So it was absolute nonsense from the get-go. What is this, you know, especially British guy, I don't know why, I'm, I'm, I'm not picking on him, but like, what does his friends think about this when they see this? Does he just make it a big joke? Well, I think I think British people are a bit more pragmatic. They're like, yeah, yeah, mate. Yeah, we, we all, yeah exactly. We all, we all have to make our money somehow. <laughs> you know what I mean? You get back, yeah. you're like, yeah, put, yeah, you leave your work, your work behind. It's like, let's have a pint. Let's talk about something else. You know? Yeah. <laughs> Everyone's going yeah. Yeah, yeah, absolutely wild for the no winner. Yeah, of course, there's not going to be a winner. No one wins at the BRI. BRI, you all, all lose. lose. All the countries that participate end up having crappy infrastructure put in place, and then they have to pay it off forever oh, you know and ruins gosh. the environment too anyway well oh. as the game uh, is demonstrating the region needs collaboration you know the idea what region by the way they're just talking shit. what region the Excuse region my needs... language but this is just shit yeah this is nonsense and they just made it all up yeah <laughs> maybe they the worst examples ever uh, yeah i mean a obviously freaking they didn't. board game it's in the end <laughs> win -win the world. <laughs> yes yes, yes. Oh, oh yeah, okay. Let's see. Let's gosh. see the finishing um the finishing touches. Let's see sure. what they have to say. More inclusive and more fair. Absolutely. That's great. And climate change. Well that's a really good uh, sentiment to end on. Well thanks everyone for joining us. Until next time. Bye. <laughs> that was quite the flush. Yeah. Hot side chats is highly regarded as a name. It's really, show. really bad. <laughs> that was um, awesome. It's been a while since we found such a ridiculous uh, show. And there are more of them, so... Yeah, there are. Mm, they that, did other pot side chats? Yeah. Oh, my God. There's more pot side chats. I, I mean, I went through most of them. This is probably the stupidest one, but, I mean, they have more, so don't worry. Uh, we've got more material coming up in the future. Thank you once again, China Daily, for <laughs> supplying this. For sure. China Daily, I'd like to ask China Daily, maybe you can get a response. Maybe you can call them for me. Okay. Um, China Daily, what was your source for all that information? <laughs> oh, yeah. Let's try to find a source for all this BRI information. My yeah. source is that I made it the f*** up. <laughs> Pretty much. Yeah. yeah. We could also give a den source. We could. We could. See where, where I can find the self imagination. Where? <laughs> <laughs> it's Saturday night, almost midnight. You drift off to sleep, and someone starts a jackhammer outside your window. Are you sure you know what I hear? Suffer this yeah. again. I hear this every freaking week. Mm -hmm. I've had it. Oi! You did our studio, ma. Siri, set a timer for 10 minutes. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> 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 Between. A big jar, and I just went out and like filled their shoes up with this stuff. Plain as day, manner in front of me, and she says, "I thought foreigners were supposed to be handsome." Then I punched him, and then I, sure. then I told him, "You're not gonna show up around here." I'm pretty. It's like, what are you doing?